What is going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fish and Grubs. We are out here at the Stone Bridge with Jerry here in Tiverton. Yo! <laughs> Jerry says yo. Um, today we are out here looking for some tatog from shore and then whatever else wants to bite our crabs. And uh, Jerry's setting up a little fluke rig as well. Who knows if they're even around. But the keeper size here is 17 inches. Uh, it's one of those special places in Rhode Island where the um, size of fluke only has to be 17 inches and the size of scup only have to be eight inches. Uh, it's $20 to park here. We just did that. Now we're out here. We're gonna do some surf casting. Hopefully we get some fish. Let's get out there. They say catching a fish on your first cast is bad luck. I never believed it until now. Hi, how are you? Hey, anything? Uh, we haven't even started yet. You even have, you don't even have your tog rig yet, do you? I'm putting it on right now. Okay. I'm fogging up right now, buddy. Oh no, this is going like. on the grass right on the side of it. I can't even feel the bottom. Huh? I can't even feel the bottom. I'm letting line out still and it's just going. These kayakers are coming in too. I cast that way and it went that way, so it's definitely outgoing. Yeah. Starting to go back out. So I should just cast out that way. Towards the red buoy. These people are gonna go right over the line. Fantastic. something Jerry Sea robin. No, it's a sea sea toad. Oh, what? A raven? Toad. Sea oh, toad. Uh, toadfish. No, 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 that's a okay. Yeah, that's a uh, toadfish. Yep. Toadfish. <laughs> that's an awesome first fish of the day. Holy crap, guys! We just caught a, our first ever toadfish. New species for me. Uh, I've seen them caught 
but I never caught one myself. And a fat little one too. Check this out. This thing is crazy looking. They have teeth. What a crazy looking fish, guys. Thought we had a sea robin for a second, but it is a toadfish. <laughs> All right, let's put him back. <sighs> Later, buddy. He is out. Yeah, Jerry skunk off immediately. After that very first cast with the very first fish, every cast for Jerry and I in this place, pretty much, for the exception of maybe two casts, ended just like this. Damn, I'm stuck at the bottom too. You on the bottom? This is the very next cast. Sends up the exact same way. And I'm broken off. I just lost everything. You had a hit. Had a hit, lost everything on the hook set. What the hell's going on? Yeah. On the hook set. I was getting ripped. I felt pop, pop. Set the hook, no, absolutely nothing. And again. And again. No. And again. The bad luck continued on to the next spot. Where here, uh, we did not get stuck at all, but as you can see, or as you can hear, there's zero audio here, and that's for a reason. I accidentally started filming in the time warp mode, which means you can't hear anything that I'm doing or saying, and I finally catch the second fish of the day, which is a pretty decent size black sea bass. Definitely not the fish I was expecting to catch here, but we tangled up slightly with our neighbor, uh, and so we gave him the black sea bass that we caught. Jerry and I weren't keeping anything. The one really crappy thing about the day is that Jerry himself got skunked. Um, we fished way longer than we were supposed to, uh, trying to get Jerry his first fish of the day and uh, we failed miserably, absolutely miserably. 
you know, here we were going for to tog from shore, which is something we do not do often. We've only done a couple of times in our lives. So, you know, we're learning a lot here and um, it it's difficult. Fishing from shore is extremely difficult. The amount of gear we lost uh, is insane at that first place. Every single cast we got stuck. Um, and then here, you know, you have to get your cast out so far. And again, I don't even think the Tatog were around. So here we were almost wasting our time. Um, we could have went to a different place that we don't know of uh, and caught Tog. Um, a couple of the gentlemen around said that there were Tog at Mount Hope Bridge um, and then across this bridge on the other side. They said they're, uh, they were catching to Tog. But this is where we caught them last spring. That's why we decided to come back here and see if we could catch a fish or two. We definitely put in the time. Really, we need to just keep putting in days, going for tog from shore, um, and learning where we can actually go to do so. And the windows of opportunity are not huge. Um, you know, you get like a small window in the fall and a small window in the spring. And that's pretty much that when it comes to uh, fishing for these guys from shore. So we, Jerry and I just need to do it a little bit more and and, and figure some stuff out. So right here on this next cast is when I catch the black sea bass. You can see it for like two milliseconds because uh, this time warp thing is, you know, going like triple speed or whatever. But I believe that it is my first black sea bass from shore and uh, I gotta say I was pretty stoked about catching this thing. Also the guys around us were catching a bunch of scup. Um, and uh, this one gentleman coming up next here catches a little tiny puffer fish. Oh my god, is that a puffer fish? I caught like 10 of them shits today. Are you serious? Oh my goodness, he's so little. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, that's that guy's right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? What are you doing? Just gonna go right through the lines? we're not doing anything. Just going right through the lines. You don't care. Oh, come on, you f so it was at this moment here that I gave up completely. Um, this was the, the last straw for me. I actually made it the entire time we were at this spot without breaking off until this cast where my bail flipped down and everything just went sailing. That was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. We stayed for a few more minutes uh, to see if Jerry could break his skunk, but it didn't happen. Um, I almost didn't make this video. But you know what? I still had a great time with Jerry out there. And sometimes it's not all about all the fish you catch. Sometimes it's about learning um, and figuring things out. You know, we definitely did a lot of learning on this day, um, I must say. And next time, you know, we'll have a better game plan. So hopefully next time we can get on some more tog and hopefully get on some that are of size. Uh, the tog fishing is just going to get better, folks. Better and better and better and better super super pumped for this season so guys thank you for tuning in if you had fun today please hit the subscribe button hit the bell as well we're dropping videos every single weekday and also if we get to 10k before the end of the year we are going to be buying a very expensive spinning reel that's what i've i'm going to do some research and we're going to get a very very nice spinning reel because on spinning reels, whether you're lefty or righty, you can change the handle. So I think we're going to go um, maybe with a Stella or 
something something above a stratic. We're gonna we're gonna really treat you guys to a really nice reel if we can hit 10k by the end of this year. Right now we're a little over 7,000, making our way to 8,000. So we got a little ways to go, but I think we can do it uh, with the help of you guys. So make sure you're sharing these videos and uh, interacting with the videos. Leave some comments for me. Um, like the video, share it. It all helps. Thank you guys so much. See you tomorrow. Dish out. Wonder if all my bad decisions get accounted in the algorithms. No statistician could dissuade me from my bigger vision. I know my occupation's quite an unlikely place in this world to occupy and talk about upon a daily basis. Our information's predetermined by some biased business. We all in sermon to silicon that push our lovely neighbors. I'm done with paper chasing, think I'm on the bigger banquets. This that full circle, new wave, energy on a Tuesday.